What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and this is my final video on the Blighted Expedition in No Man's Sky. In this video I will of course show you how to complete every milestone in order to complete the fifth phase in this expedition. I will of course be giving you some tips and tricks on how to do this as fast and as easy as possible. Plus we'll also of course have a look at all the rewards you'll get by doing so. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. I would personally start phase 5 with tracking down the enlistment milestone, which will require you to recruit a pilot to your squadron. So make sure to head into your starship and take off. When in space, make sure to summon your freighter. And of course get onto it. When you're aboard your freighter, make sure to head up to the deck. And then to interact with the Menace Fleet Terminal right here. Here you can head up to Menace Squadron. Here you'll see four slots which can be unlocked with nanites. Make sure to unlock one. After doing so, you will be able to recruit a pilot to your squad. So make sure to head back into your ship and fly out of your freighter. Make your way up towards the space station or towards the trading post, whichever suits you. So when you land, make sure to get out of your starship and then wait for another pilot to arrive. So when a pilot arrives, you can just approach them and interact with them. Once you do so, make sure to select Recruit Lifeform to Squadron. Here you see an overview of its stats. So as you see this is an S-Class pilot. It has excellent acrobatics, excellent reaction speed, good strength, excellent fuel efficiency, 106 confirmed kills, and he vanishes between missions. Which sounds weird, but okay. Whatever he does in his free time is his duty. You can see its damage potential, shield strength, hyperdrive range and maneuverability. And of course you can select to recruit the pilot or to decline. So once you've recruited the pilot, the enlistment milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with a Baron Starship Shield upgrade and a Baron Starship Weapons upgrade. Of course make sure to install these directly. And to place them in a way that they're touching each other's counterpart for an adjacency bonus. And do the same for the weapon uh, technology you've just received. Again, making sure that it will touch its counterpart for an adjacency bonus. And while we're at the space station, make sure to also head up to the Starship Outfitter, as you can further expand your Starship storage using augmentation, which we received in the previous phase. You want to make sure to put many of your viable technology into your technology slots, as they will be safe there from damage. So next up you'll want to track the Galactic Defender milestone, which will require you to shoot down 32 pirates in total. At this moment you should at least be at 6 out of 32 pirates, if you have of course rescued the freighter. Now to go around and to get the remaining ones, I would suggest to fly out of the space station, or of course from the trade post if you're there, and summon the anomaly. Of course, a likely place to hunt down pirates is in a pirate control system. But unfortunately, you cannot warp there via a normal teleporter at a space station. Hence why we are at the anomaly. So make sure to walk up to the teleporter, interact with it, and make sure to warp into a pirate control system. For example, the Amanta Junction, which we have visited in an earlier video as well. So once you're there, make sure to head up to this merchant right here. Interact with the Bounty Master and see if it has any missions that require you to hunt and destroy a pirate. Make sure to select it and start it. Head back up to your starship and fly out of the space station. The pirates will be marked on your HUD. Make sure the pull's there. And of course, make sure to defeat the pirates. A good and efficient way to do this is to use your photon cannon to destroy their shields and then switch over to your rocket launcher and shoot them. Of course you do not have to be in pirate controlled systems to start these missions. So make sure if you don't find any to head back to any other system towards the space station until you find missions which require you to hunt some pirates. Once you've completed a mission make sure to fly back towards the space station and walk up to the merchant. Make sure to hand in the mission and collect your rewards and then see if there is another one you can start right away. If not, make sure to visit any other space station and see if they have a mission right there. Now it is good to know that if you're having any trouble defeating uh, all the pirates, that you could of course unlock some more squadron slots and recruit some more pilots as they will help you in doing so. Or of course get yourself some more weapons upgrade and or defensive upgrades for your starship to make the battle some easier for you. 
But once you have shut down 32 pirates, the Galactic Defender milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 5 defense chits and 10 comma droplets. Now you want to return towards the space station. You'll of course want to make your way towards the mission agent to claim your rewards. After doing so, really make sure to move all your technology into your technology slots. That goes for your exosuit and your starship. Next to this, I would also advise on picking up a new multi-tool. It doesn't really matter which class it is, it's a dummy multi-tool to make sure that your main multi-tool does not get damaged. So just make sure to buy it. And of course, really make sure that you have it selected as your primary multi-tool at this point. Also make sure that you're at least carrying 30 chromatic metal. So once you've done so, make sure to walk up to the teleporter. Interact with the teleporter aboard the space station and make sure to head up your way towards the space station where the fifth rendezvous was, the Ifnyomits station. Select it and warp into it. So once you reach the Ifneo mid system, you'll also want to make sure that the uh, hyperdrive on your starship is fully charged. If that's not the case, make sure to craft some more warp cells in order to do so. Of course, if you're missing any materials, make sure to visit one of the planets within the system to gather some. So once you've gathered the materials and are able to create the warp cells needed to fully charge your starship, I would advise on creating a manual save. Now if for some reason you are not able to return towards the Ifniomid system uh, which you had visited in the previous phase, if you do not recall make sure to check out that video as well. I'll make sure to include the glyphs in this video for this system. That's the glyphs right there. In order for you to be able to teleport there. You should have received all the uh, glyphs within a previous phase. So if you're having trouble doing so, make sure to locate a teleporter. For which I'll also link a video in the description down below. And to come to these glyphs. So make sure to take off and fly in space. Make sure the intergalactic milestone is being tracked within the expedition step. And open up the galaxy map. The route will guide you towards the galactic core. So make sure to select it, it could take a while before it will jump over. As you see, it takes longer to select some other systems as well. Of course, once again, you will need to have your hyperdrive fully charged in order to make this warp. If you have, make sure to do so. Of course, warping through the galaxy score will bring you towards a new galaxy. In this case, the Paholiang system. So once you arrive on the planet, the intergalactic milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 888 Quicksilver, 8 Triple Burst Fireworks and the base computer plans. Make sure to swap your multi-tool for your normal one via the quick menu and you'll see that this multi-tool works perfectly fine. Of course you'll need to make your way towards your starship once again. So once you reach your ship you can of course get into it and take off. Now notice around the spot where you spawn that a lot of bases are already built. As everybody of course will need to create a base in order to fully complete this expedition. So you can just take off and fly towards a location on the same planet or of course fly towards another planet, whatever you'd like. Make sure to land your starship and get out of it. Open up the build menu and select the base computer. Make sure to place it down and to interact with it. If there isn't any other bases nearby, you can of course claim the site. And once you do so, you will need to create some base buildings. But let me get rid of these sentinels first real quick. Now you will not have to make a pretty base at all. You just have to place down a number of items in order to complete uh, this milestone in the expedition. You have to place down 15 base parts in total for the milestone to unlock. So make sure to keep that in mind. But once you have, the breadcrumbs milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 16 salvage data and the construction research unit plans. And of course, fully complete the final phase of the Blighted Expedition. Make sure to claim the Phase 5 milestone to be rewarded with the Hunter of the Blight title, the Blighted Expedition decal plans and the Blighted Expedition banner. Of course, also make sure to head into the final phase and to claim the reward which is the Outlaw Cave customization, which I will of course collect as soon as possible and showcase you. 
Just make your way towards the appearance modifier in order to be able to review and to equip the game. In order to select it, make sure to head into the back work tab and there you'll find the outlaw game. And you can change the colors in whichever fashion you'd like. And this is of course what it looks like when walking around. I really think Hello Games did a wonderful job including these games into the game. Of course they've been teasing this for way too long, so it was about time that they've added it. You will also come equipped with a little jackpack right behind it. Remember, you can claim this crepe across all your current and future save files. But other than that, that was it for my last video on the Blighted Expedition in No Man's Sky. I really hope it was to any help of you. If it was, make sure to please leave a thumbs up, it will help me out immensely. And subscribe to the channel in order to be informed on all things No Man's Sky in the future. I hope you enjoyed this series and I hope to see you in the next video. Video.